That's my daughter. She passed on three years ago. I'm sorry. You want to ask how, don't you? I do, but... I was a, uh, I was working as an outfitter out in Pinedale. We got this big snow and found myself on a night off, so. I got a motel, called the wife, told her to come up. Just her. <laughs> you get precious little romance with two kids and a job that keeps you in the mountain half the year. Emily was 16, Casey was five. You could trust her. She was a good girl. We lived out on the res not far from her parents and I should have made her stay with Wilma's folks. I guess word got out that we were out of town because some of her school friends came over and then more came over and then. Some people came that weren't her friends. Get together turned into quite the party. And then, I don't know. It's a lot I don't wanna know. Natalie that called us the next day, told us Emily was missing. They were best friends, so you know, she was, she was worried. She had a right to be. It's like you, you, you try to be so careful, you try to plan for everything. And she was such a good girl, she just, just let our guard down, you know? You're gonna have kids one day, Jane, and let me tell you, you cannot blink. Not once, not for 18 years. Um, some, some guy, he was moving his sheep down at Wind River, and uh, he was the one that found her. 20 something miles from the house. How she got there, what happened? I don't know. Can't find anything out from the autopsy because Kyosa got to her pretty bad. I've been killing the sons of bitches ever since. Where's uh, your bathroom? Yeah, it's, uh, it's just down the hall.